Hi, it's Chris Crocker here in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. Happy to be inside and not out on the roads. Holy smokes, uh, the roads are terrible on this Thursday night. Just the right combination of temperature and not much snow. Officially at the airport, we had just over an inch. Um, we had reports of up to four inches. I think some of the higher totals on the Rathdrum Prairie. Uh, you may have had more at your house. I'm just getting the reports in, but in general, in the one to two inch range with some pockets with uh, more snow, regardless of how much snow, the roads are just terrible and they're not going to be melting anytime soon. Uh, start off here with the four things that you need to know about the weather. It is clearing out tonight and it is going to be cold, the coldest night of the season so far. Lows will be down in the teens and single digits. Friday is going to be cold but sunny. Uh, especially the first part of the day. We may see some clouds moving in later in the day. It's going to be warmer this weekend. High temperatures getting above freezing. More snow on the way at times mixed with rain. It's going to be tricky to uh, figure out how much snow that is going to accumulate with this weekend storm for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, the temperatures are going to be right on the rain snow line. And two, on Sunday, there's a frontal boundary that looks like it is going to stall like this far south of Spokane, if it is this far further north, it's going to be right on top of us. So that's fun. Uh, here's a look at our radar. Uh, this takes us through um, 5.30, almost 6 o'clock. And um, boy, that band of snow really dissipated quickly. It's not completely snow free. However, there's still some snow showers uh, behind that main band uh, that we could get a flake or two out of this evening before things clear off more meaningful later tonight. Here's a look at our forecast radar. It shows that snow rapidly uh, coming to an end cold, clear conditions behind our front, and we're going to stay uh, with mostly clear skies to start the day tomorrow, partly cloudy conditions in the afternoon. Now, this picks up where the last one left off, our forecast radar, Friday at 5 o'clock, and here's the system that is approaching for Saturday. There's Saturday at 4 o'clock in the morning with some snow and snowing a good portion of the day before it gets into Saturday evening. And then it's rain and then the front comes through and then that's gonna stall to our south as snow, but it's just barely to our south. So um, tricky, tricky stuff. Uh, initially, um, let's see, I was writing out some snowfall possibilities here. Um, initially, my thought is that I better not make a guess <laughs> on how much we're going to get. You know what? I'm going to hand the baton off to Matt Gray and let him deal with this tomorrow. Let's talk about how cold it's going to be tonight. That is in my wheelhouse. 9 in Deer Park and Colville, 13 in Spokane, 14 in Coeur d'Alene. High temperatures tomorrow will be in the 20s. These are tricky temperatures with the roads too. And when we get in those temperatures, like the combination of being awfully close to freezing and a little bit of friction from your tires, maybe just enough to melt the road a little bit and then freeze it and make it even more slick. Uh, so this is not necessarily the kind of weather you want, but we are going to be warming up above freezing Saturday and Sunday with snow mixed with rain late on Saturday more snow showers possible on Monday and off and on through next week. Um, we are going to be cooling down next week. 33 is average. We'll be right at average Wednesday and Thursday, it would appear. Winter starts on Tuesday. It's going to be a great first day of winter, it looks like. And um, that is the name of that tune. <sighs> Be safe. Tomorrow's commute is going to be so tricky. I know the road crews are doing what they can, but there's not much to do. 
it's not snow piled up on the roads it is a sheet of ice and the chemicals they use to treat the roads they don't do any good once they're this gonna be this cold it's it's gonna be yeah not a good morning commute good excuse to stay home if you can if you have that luxury I uh, regardless thank you I will not be here tomorrow to uh, look at this approaching storm. Matt Gray, you are in his capable hands. My husband's getting his wisdom teeth pulled. And um, so I need to uh, shepherd him to and from the oral surgeon. Is that too much information, personal information? Uh, well, if you've watched for this to this point, then this is what you get. Uh, thanks so much, and I guess I won't see you until Monday. Uh, take care.